Jungkook just showed his full tattoo on his arm and confirmed the rumors of all of them. We have people protesting the military for hurting Jin at the camp, and then we have news of someone leaving their label. So hey dumplings, this is Dave Desai. Hey or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, hey spilling mug merch, and let's go. YG is definitely one of the more interesting labels and they are one of the most controversial ones because it's alleged that they use artists to cover up their own scandals. The rumors and alleged theories range from them pushing an artist's comeback or debut prematurely as if they might not have had enough time to rehearse or plan things efficiently so their promotion rollout is bad. And this is theorized that YG does this just so the headlines can stop reporting on the company's bad doings. This is just a rumor by the way and often it doesn't quite work that way. As alleged in another situation, it was rumored that the V and Jenny scandal was to cover up the bullying scandal of Big Hit's new group, La Seraphim. But did that work? The group still very much got so much backlash. Anywho, stories of the owner of YG gambling or using the artist's concert money to gamble and then allegedly using Blackpink or whatever to cover that up. And these are all just stories because I've said so so many times on this channel, no matter how quote unquote legit the story seems, we don't know these people and the media does a great job at talking a dead thing alive. And since I pay the same respect when artists get into scandals, I will do the same for the CEO. And for this reason, YG can be considered controversial. There's many talks about retention among artists in YG and this basically means how long an artist will stay at the label because they don't really have an option to stay or leave when they're locked into a seven year contract. Their option is to stay. But once it's over, do they choose to renew or leave? leave. And labels have ways of really incentivizing artists to stay by planning and announcing a big activities after the contract ending date. At that point, artists will feel pressured to renew the contract to fulfill those big activities in order to not let their fans down because it was already announced. And if the artist chooses to not renew and the label cancels those plans, the artist might get backlash. And labels have ways of also locking artists into bad deals because these artists sign their contract with their parents, obviously, but they sign them when they're like 15 and don't know anything about the industry. And parents typically don't know anything about the industry if they're not in it. And don't even know where to find a good entertainment lawyer to better negotiate these things. So for this reason, a lot of artists who either don't care about the previously mentioned big plans or they just had enough will often move on to another label and negotiate a better deal for their career. But essentially, they have to deal with fans of YG who were also fans of the group, ultimately fans called calling the group a traitor or not being fans with the group anymore because YG family and you betrayed your family. And the group or artist has to start from square one with a new label and build a new fan base. There was a lot of speculation when one of the members of Big Bang, Daesung, announced that they allegedly signed to another label. And the headlines read, he leaves YG. It's also almost seen as like shade or that something shady happened behind the scenes. Because it wasn't too long before that another member of Big Bang announced that he was leaving and this was Taeyang. So people were like, okay, something shady is happening in YG. However, in defense of YG, since I always like to bring the other side to light as well, I don't think anything is actually wrong. Hear me out. Both Daesung and Taeyang are believed to be leaving YG and signing with the Black Label. This is a newer label with only a few artists and their parent company is YG. The owner and founder of the Black Label is none other than Teddy, who is currently still one of YG's best producers and still works with YG. If YG was like, oh my god, two of our iconic stars from Big Bang keep leaving for this other label, we have to get rid of them. And maybe YG would feel like the black label was competition. So you wouldn't let your competition work for you. Also, Teddy then wouldn't want to work with YG as it would then hurt his own label. So my theory is that there is no issue. Big Bang members going to the black label might still get help from YG and Wikipedia said there is association between the two. So headlines saying they're leaving YG is not entirely accurate. There's been a lot of crazy stories recently. I think one of the things I could not get over was this idea that Jungkook actually performed at the World Cup or FIFA. And this is something that is still hard for me to process. But of course, it is real. And we recently got the behind the scenes of that moment that was posted on YouTube. And we got to see everything that led up to that moment. Jungkook filming the music video and getting ready for it. This is the music video behind the scenes that they shot. I will be reacting to this 
this video on Patreon. So if you're interested in checking that out, the link to the Patreon is in the description. There is limited space for the $1 tier available. So if you would like to sign up for that, I hope to see you there. This was definitely a great video to watch. We tend to think celebrities just do amazing things and don't really have any emotion towards it. But seeing these videos really shows us that Jungkook was happy, excited, and he knew how monumental this would be. One of the scenes from this episode showed Jungkook with his full tattoos. I mean, this looks weird, right? It looks like a fan edit. I've literally never seen his arms. Like his arms could have been metal arms or snakes and I would have accepted that because I just don't know what they look like. But to see his entire arm with tattoos and see every tattoo like on that arm is so strange to me. Because even me being his husband and all, we go to bed together, he still doesn't show his arms and neither does he when he showers. So I'm just confused. But no, people were definitely pleasantly surprised. Jungkook's tattoo artist showed all his tattoos on his IG, but we really didn't see it in full context, like with Jungkook's body and stuff. And it's also difficult to tell the exact placement of everything from those photos. And here in the video, we can see it. And if anyone wants to draw him in t-shirts and stuff now, you can. You know exactly where everything is. And of course, while this was posted more on purpose, since Hybe did not censor Jungkook's arm here, there's rumors that Jin's photo from the military camp were not posted officially or without Hybe's permission. And it's newer pictures. And I wanted to talk about that. First off, I think these photos that I'm about to show you are not in any way a strict violation of any privacy or have any issues. If you believe so, feel free to hit the dislike button or write something mean on Twitter and get your anger out and then move on. I do not care. Jin is enlisted in a government camp and unauthorized personnel are not allowed inside. So if the government finds people sneaking into the camp, I am pretty sure that's either jail time or death. Government military camp, I think we can assume, would probably have the best security. So when a media company called The Fact News took a picture, the internet seemed to go crazy and called them a stalker. Video footage surfaced of Jin carrying some chairs inside the camp and claims of this were not released officially and without permission of Hybe or whatever. If these reporters were allowed inside the camp, then these photos were released with permission because the military and government are kind of who Jin reports to right now, just like Hybe would be when Jin leaves. So these photos are fine in my opinion. But now while half the internet was torn over if these photos should even be looked at, the other half was talking about Jin's treatment. I didn't see anything wrong with this treatment. I made a joke in my head like, why is my royal husband doing peasant things like carrying a chair? And I assumed most people thought that. But no, people were actually mad saying that it appeared the military is overworking him. You got all that from him carrying chairs? Something he probably does when he goes home and visits his family and his mom is probably like, bring those chairs for auntie and uncle. And then Twitter trends like, Jin has a terrible mom. She overworks him. He is fine. When he planned on going, he probably realized in his mind that he would be doing some extra physical activity. Quite honestly, bringing chairs is quite tame from what I was thinking. Also, I don't think Jin would be happy if he found out that he was getting special treatment. So he should be doing what everyone else is doing. And a soldier actually helping out to set up or whatever he's doing is totally expected. And we all do at least this much if we're setting up for something. So I don't know. I do think there's a bit of an overreaction here. Some people were saying more so that Jin just looks tired. It's 2022. Look in the mirror. We're all tired. What's going right, right? Come on, be honest. But like, he's just not wearing makeup. We normally never see him without makeup on. And of course, makeup artists do a great job at covering up dark circles. It can be alarming to see an idol with dark circles or bags or any normal human things and think that they might be feeling unwell because they typically look so refreshed. But that image is not reality. And what is reality is that idols look human. They have pores, they sometimes look tired and can have those things. I honestly like for real think that however long the hours are for training, Jin has done double that just from touring. Not to downplay enlisting, but you don't sleep when you tour. And from what I'm aware of, you do sleep on the camp. They make sure of it, turning off the lights at 9 p.m. and forcing everyone to sleep at the same time. So he's probably more rested now than he would be touring with BTS. Let me know what you think and make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.